so it's immediate feedback and I think we're, we're getting there because of you know that <clears throat> exact clip was like the result of how do I say this a pretty long time of genetic altering and I was just thinking to myself like, my neighbours argue I won't see them in the next 50 years I won't see these neighbours in the next 50 years like, obviously your boy's gonna be balling I won't be rich as fuck I'm gonna be in, in a different neighbourhood etc etc but even then like the way they live their life all the like they argue literally once twice uh, per three days it has to be at least a once a day type of occurrence that weighs on you that stress there is going to be a clear negative ROI on that activity just constantly stressing constantly stressing constantly stressing wash my face And I think to myself, I watched the video, this guy is Brian Johnson, he's projected to live to 200 years old, which is crazy by the way. Um, he'll probably be old and saggy by 200, but, you know, he's increased his lifespan quite definitely. I think the next step for this guy is, I think yeah, the next step for this guy is cancer cell manipulation. I think it was being, it's been on people's mind for a while now, the fact that cancer cells can increasingly, you know, Duplicate so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I, I learned this in um, biology a while ago, but cancer cells they literally cannot exhaust themselves. Okay, can cancer cells? Ask GPT for it. Can cancer cells uh, duplicate infinitely? So cancer cells have the ability to divide and replicate themselves more rapidly than normal cells, but they do not have the ability to divide infin infinitely. In fact, many factors can can limit the growth and division of cancer cells, including the availability of nutrients, the accumulation of toxic waste products, and the immune system's response to cancer. Additionally, cancer cells can accumulate mutations and genetic changes over time, which can lead to development of more aggressive treatment, uh, aggressive and tr tumor-resistant tumors. However, in these cases, there are still limits to how much a tumour can grow and divide. Overall cancer cells can have a significant growth advantage over normal cells and more capable of limited growth of end division. Could we leverage cancer cells to live longer, like reverse engineering cancer cells in order rapidly replace dying so I said, could we live, leverage cancer cells um, to live longer, like reverse engineering cancer cells in order to replace rapidly, to rapidly replace dying cells? Or cancer cells have the ability to divide and replicate themselves more rapidly than a normal cell? They are not suitable solution for replacing dying cells. Cancer cells are abnormal cells to have lost the ability to regulate their growth and division, and as a result, they can grow uncontrollably and form tumors that can harm the body. Bro, this is like, you know, in entrepreneurship, you have a need and you solve it. This is a need. Obviously, it will be a lifelong pursuit. Come on, guys. For like 50 years, 60 years, 80 years. I perhaps even underestimate it. Yeah. You're probably going to do... You're going to make a bunch of fucking money. Like, I probably am. And then after a while, you get back to this thing. You spend 50 years on it. I'm like, I'm 25. I'm a multi-millionaire. And I'm trying to make more money, more, more, more money. At 30, I realize, oh shit, I'm turning old. Go back on this shit. 50 years of research and development. And I'm 80. And I now have the information and the capacity to do it. But I'm fucking 80. And all the billionaires in the world are fucking waiting for me. Because <laughs> I'm that guy. Um, isn't that a need? Isn't that an issue though? A problem that can be solved? Cancer cells are abnormal cells that have lost the ability to regulate their growth and division. But they have superior growth and division comparatively to the normal cell and they have a much higher half life. If you are able to regulate this, you could live forever. Attempts to leverage cancer cells for the purpose of cell replacement could lead to further complications, including the formation of new tumors and spread of cancer throughout the body. Instead, scientists are researching alternative strategies for regenerative medicine, such as stem cell therapy and tissue engineering, that aims to replace damaged or diseased tissues with healthy functional cells. I'm pretty sure it's being thought about. Like, I'm not idea is an original idea. Like, cancer cells being used for regenerative reg regenerative purposes, considering the fact that a lot of diseases are, well, how do I say this, reverse engineered for, in order for our body to actually do its own thing and then heal thereafter 
the antibiotics are just like dead versions of fucking viruses and then we just give our body enough antibiotics it just kills all the ad uh, thing it gets used to defending against the dead version of the parasites or a virus not parasite the version of the virus that we are giving it and then when the real virus comes along it's fine these approaches are still in the early stages of development, but they offer promising potential for improving health and longevity of individuals about the risks associated with risk take her money maker, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyways, from this like information alone, I was thinking to myself, yeah bro, I wanna live forever, bro. I want to live forever. I want to exist for another good I don't know, fifty to hundred years more than anywhere anyone else. My great grandfather died at eighty nine. Rest in peace. I did like him, but in all honesty, there was like a huge barrier between us because of age. Like he couldn't really speak Vietnamese well anymore, and like I I, I tried to talk to him a lot because this person is my ancestor, and I realized the value of ancestors from a very very young age. And I thought to myself, yeah, I want to be in tune with this person because this person is the reason why I exist. It's that deep. And this person at one point was sentient. This person at one point was just like me. Just like me. This person at one point was just like me in the sense that he was living, breathing, sentient. He could probably understand my, my words. He was young. He was full of life. But what happened? He got lazy. No, it's not fair because he's old, bro. He didn't want to play badminton, he didn't want to exercise anymore. Because he didn't want to exercise anymore, he met his, um, a death sooner than most expected. A lot of people were crying that day. Oh, I couldn't cry because, I don't know, perhaps I didn't know him enough, perhaps I'm too stoic. But then again, like, stoicism for me has a limit. You know, I did know him a lot, I do cherish the time that I had with him. But, and, I did, but I didn't cry when, at his funeral. But if my gran great, uh, my uh, grandmother would die, my grandfather were to die, I would be sobbing my heart out. If my mother were to die, I'd be literally tearing my heart out. I know it won't be anytime soon. I mean, God forbid. I don't to jinx anything. I thought I to call them now. I know it's going to be... Don't even say that again. You know, the world acts in a mysterious way. And I don't want to jinx anything. Because it would make me horribly, horribly depressed. Any, any of these individuals to die, I'll just I'll crumble for a good week, good month. I need that time to recuperate. Or my, I might just go back, go continue my life. I don't know. I don't know how I respond to that. It's such a foreign idea. It's the thing, but I would like to talk about it so I can healthily cope with it. You know, I don't like the word cope because cope is usually. Is. Cope is usually congruent with the idea that you need to, you know, just be okay with something that will never be changed. And I completely and utterly disagree with that idea. I think that a lot of things in life can be changed, even your lifespan. Who says we're supposed to die? Bro, our DNA breaks down and then we die, and we're just supposed to accept this? Bro, the, the, the humans of the future will not live 100 years. They will not live 200 years. They'll live 500. And it will be relative again. We'll be like the next fucking elves. We barely reproduce, but we live so very, very long. And that's like a genetic disposition that elves have a bunch of because they, they rarely feel the feeling of reproduction, so they just live longer. I don't think humans could potentially live the same way because of our nature. I wonder how my body ages. I know the more I watch the video, the more I think about it, the more I want to live forever. Genuinely. Because I know like the way I approach life with all the information I have and all the action I could take. Like another video I'm gonna make that I'll make very very soon is how efficient my content creation is. My overall content production, as in editing, as in clipping, cropping, all that bullshit, making thumbnails, that's the slow part. 
I have so many videos. I have too much videos. I have so much content that I don't even know what to do with it. That's that, that, that's my problem. A lot of people don't even like, oh, what should I record? What should I record? Oh, I don't know. Content. And they worry about that. But I like, I worry about my execution on editing the videos. At this camera alone on the SD card, I have probably 60 videos. On here, I probably have. I can check right now. That's the night away. 29 videos that I know I can upload. Like, that's. That's too much. It's not my nose. You know, I've been trying to blow my nose less aggressively recently. Considering the fact that, like my mom was telling me before, I blow my nose so hard, kind of like dangerous. It is kind of dangerous, the strength in which I use to blow my nose. So. I'm not like completely out of idiot. She's like, damn, I'm being so fucking heavy. It's like 3, 4 p.m. in the afternoon, man. No, I, I get loads of bleeds a lot and it's kind of annoying. I gotta leave after a, another video or two. But I, I, might, I might not just call that video because uh, it's not even really to say on that. It's like it's that simple. I, I make too much content, I don't edit enough content. I should outsource it to someone else. That's like the most logical way by the money. I should just try to do it as much as I can by myself. And then create that portfolio by myself to develop my skills for myself first. And after, like, I've had, how, how do I say this, a considerable, like, a seriously considerable amount of videos, I can then. I have perfume. This is my perfume. It's my perfume. The only perfume that I have. No Dior Sauvage. No nothing. This one's nice as fuck, though. It's limited edition. It smells like you're that guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. I thought I was gonna say something, but on my point previously, but I honestly fucking forgot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot, bros. Bros, bros, PewDiePie. <laughs> Fuck. We gotta credit out. This is that shit. This paradigm of you only have like a limited lifespan. It, in my opinion, is the most stupidest shit I've heard on planet Earth. How could some individuals be 50 but look 30? How could some individuals be 40 but look 20? Like, like Brandon Carter, for example, King Keto, more, a lot of Asian guys. Like Chuando Tan, he's 50 fucking six or some shit. He looks like he's uh, maybe perhaps with a, with, a, with a facial hair, perhaps 30. And the facial hair ages you by a lot. This is why I, I really like baby face. All my friends are like growing up beards and shit. Like, oh, look at my beard, oh, I, look, I look so grown up. Like, I don't I want a baby face for the rest of my life. I probably would, at some point, try to grow a beard, but for the most part, I'd be baby face. Also, it's good for sales. With a tangent. This whole paradigm of you have a limited lifespan is so stupid because our DNA breaks down and then our cells break down subsequently thereafter, and then that's it. That's it. Are we just supposed to accept that? That's bullshit. Who said limited lifespan? It's more of like people want a limited lifespan. If anything, people want um, a limited time on this planet because they don't have life worth living for the next 50, 60, 100, 150, 200 years. A lot of the gamer guys I'm, I'm talking to, they're like, Oh yeah, I'm like, yeah, I want to live forever. Like, I want to live at least to 150, 200, 300. And I know it will be hard. And I know it will be 
perhaps potentially at some point suffocating and it'll be annoying and I might go through the wrong periods of loneliness and sadness, depression and anxiety but at least I'll be alive at least I can see the world for what it is the world, I can see the world change I can reap rewards many will never be able to reap because they quit along their journey they chose the easy way out they died in a world where this is a purely hypothetical world where you can live forever right people choose to die and I think that we're slowly reaching that point slowly but surely reaching that point in the modern day because a lot of individuals I see on on PS4 on the gaming in the gaming world push me, push me, push me. they get intensely stressed push me, push me. 172 172 on the race 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 oh my god horizon oh my god hey oh my god they get intensely stressed over this bullshit you get intensely stressed over virtual the virtual world and virtual currency and virtual this virtual that. it's all bullshit it's all for Gazi. I don't know how you don't see it it's all there to distract you it's the reason why you don't live any longer and people tell, and people are like tell me oh but but video games help me relax how how Re what relax <laughs> it's all bullshit bro. You're, you're, you're the most stimulated when you play video games. It's the reason why a lot. And then, putting up that point after, that's a, it's a separate point, completely not a separate point. I'm gonna cut that point off completely not today. The majority of people that play video games, they don't want to live forever. Because they don't know what the future entails. And if they look at what the future entails, it isn't bright. It's that 30 year old virgin, or 30 year old guy with like maybe 5, 10 bodies. But then he's just alone at home within his parents' house playing video games all the time after his long day of work, barely paying off mortgage, bills. Yay, it's all the economy is so hard. You spent the last 10 years playing fucking For Honor and dead, dying by deadline, some stupid shit like that. Of course you're gonna suffer the repercussions. It's day by day, choices by choices. They affect your outcome. This choice of recording this video will affect my outcome in life. Me recording this video, me uploading this video, me editing this video, me cropping this video into clips, and then me talking about the video in a more hyper edited video for more money. This, this, this is a choice that affects my outcome in life. I don't think people understand this enough. Like, literally, not enough. It's like it's brain numbing. Most individuals I told. Uh, uh, the gamers that I told you yeah, I won't live forever. I'm like, oh yeah, I won't never want to live forever. You won't live forever. They, they look at me as a widow because they have nothing to live to live for, and they might argue against that. Oh, I have my dog, I have my cat, I have my mom and dad. But you didn't say that to justify or you wanted to live forever. Be honest, bro. You don't want to live forever. There's nothing going on in your life. You're a piece of shit, bro. A lot of these people, they live such mundane, boring lives, and then they hear me, full of ambition, full of desires, wants. People call it youthful arrogance. I'm getting out of that youthful era. I'm almost 20. It's in two years, three months, and a few weeks, I'm 20. I'm 18 in three months, and a few weeks. Is it even a week? A week or a week and a few days? Three months, a week and a few days. 21st of April 2023, so 21, 4, 20, 20, 23. And 10th of July 2023. That's 10, 7, 2023, so yeah, three months. After that, 20. After that, it's 12 years, three months. Then a week, a few days, a few hours, a few minutes, a few seconds, away from 30. You know, first man's at the best, you will blink and then you will become 30. I don't think people understand that enough. You will blink and you will become 30. And that is purely because of the fact that people, they blink throughout their entire life. You understand when I say this? Let me reiterate that. People, they have such mundane, monotonous, boring lives that they blink through all of it 
they don't enjoy the moment. And if like I get into like a routine, for example, where I'm like a healthy health and fitness routine, and I, I wake I wake up in the morning at eight a.m. and then I start waking up, meditate, etc., etc., et they look at me as weird. They think that life is boring. When this life is so completely and utterly fulfilling, and I, I, you say happy inducing, <laughs> happiness filled, that is actually hard to describe for you. Person who hasn't done it, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> the the small. <laughs> oh yeah. They, all these guys want to die at 80 or 90 and they're like, oh yeah, I'm chill on set because that's what everyone else has said when the new norm goes from 80 to 90 yeah, when, I, when the new norm of these, of these uh, losers I'm going to this straight up some of them are literally pushing 30 and they're playing video games bro, you're pushing 30 and you're playing video games what the fuck are you doing with your life? that is disgusting in my opinion I would not want to do that, that's stupid I... no it doesn't feel my beliefs do what you want it doesn't fit my beliefs at all these guys are like 25 26 27 three years away from 30 years old i can't do this being 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 three of these editing i look so stupid right now okay when i edit it looks good look <laughs> good these guys are so close to that limit and they tell me about oh yeah you you, you, you wouldn't want to live to 80 to, the, to no you wouldn't want to live to 200 what the fuck have you done in your life in order for you to tell me that nothing and these guys are pretty good at the video game as well I always said it was a double edged um, it was a double edged sword with a side facing you is sharp being sharp huh? and I always said it was a curse in disguise to be good at video games because you are because you are good at video games subsequently thereafter you get hooked and addicted to video games and that's where it starts it starts where you don't want to live to, uh, you want to live to 100 you want to live to 80 and 90 like everyone else when you when I fucking sure as hell know as soon as the baseline goes up for how much you can live and what is society, socially tolerable for what you want to live like for example I want to live to 150 it is possible to live to 150 and beyond and it is affordable to do so and it's actually easy to do so people want to live to 150 now people have extra 5 decades 6 decades of fucking around doing bullshit activities when they're younger their youth becomes longer 40 is then considered young still Oh, you're, still, you're just 40? you got 110 years left. And I was like, and I'm like yeah, I've got 110 years left. Well, I'm not even half my life yet. What's 150 minus uh, divided by 2? My brain is mathing 175. Uh, when people reach 75, that's, the, that's when they need to say midlife crisis. Because the, the new age is um, thing. 150, right? That's the new midlife crisis. It all shifts beyond. The NPCs become even bigger NPCs. And the guys that are more ruthless. The guys that are ruthless become increasingly more ruthless. Patch of time. Imagine Elon Musk. The age, he's like 50. Give him another 100 years. How much do you think this individual can accomplish? Year by year he will become immensely, immensely better. It will be a spectacle to watch him. Grow, divide, conquer. It would be it would be a marvel to watch Elon conquer for the next hundred years had that been possible. Cause now oh, there is a lot of room for mistakes. But he's got that few decades of years of experience behind him and he's got more and more and more and more and more. Let's be realistic, if Elon probably would probably Elon probably get cryo cryogenics. And then after that of the cryogenics, he will probably get um, things, stem cells replacement in between, and probably whatever, whatever this Brian Johnson guy is doing as well. He's gonna be like, I want to be on that shit because he wants to live longer because he has that unattainable goal. 
of his that everyone looked down upon. Go to Mars. You can't go to Mars, it's too far away and 3 million kilometers and... He just said fuck you and just got back to work. And now he's closer than ever to this goal. That's what I mean by the individuals that are NPCs, they become even bigger NPCs, they become even more jealous, envious. They become even more... Even more NPC. <laughs> Am I NPC for saying that? <laughs> I'm a hustle coach at NPC. <laughs> uh. The guys that are even the, the guys that are entrepreneurial, the guys that are smart, the guys that know what the fuck they're doing, they have now suddenly they have all this extra time they can use to be building even bigger empires. We're gonna be seeing trillion dollar empires, quadrillion dollar empires, most maybe octillion dollar empire, maybe not trillion. Perhaps even then, perhaps we might reach that point. It'll be a fucking adventure capitalist, but in real life. <laughs> So much money just overloads on the bank. Elon just starts giving like a fucking 10k to the random person he sees. Like, oh, 10K, get, get out of my face, 10k. And I was like, yay, yeah, 10k, 10k. And everyone just goes to him and some shit. That, that's, that's the paradigm that, that's, gonna, that's gonna happen. The ruthlessness and the ability of the individuals that are high demanding, high expectant, hard working, high stress tolerant, they're gonna go through the roof, bro. And the NPCs, they're just gonna be. Oh, are you going? Oh. And these guys, within 10, 20 years, it's gonna, it's gonna be an exponential gap. Think about the friends that Elon Musk had in school. Think about the guys that bullied Elon Musk in school, bro. He ain't no one bullied in school. Think about the guys that bullied him. Do you think they're anywhere near his level? No. Do you think they could possibly reach anywhere near his level? No. They, they're not anywhere near his level, they could never reach a level So probably because of mindset as well They're going to have to dedicate the next 30 to 20 to 30 years of their lives To the, the, the fucking the game in order to do that shit Which they're not prepared to do because they'll be 17, 18 and oh, I'm too old for that shit I'm just going to die and then raise my grandkids, yay But you could do both bro Raising grandkids is not a full time profession, okay? <laughs> Fuck Can't take this uh, Oh, but, but you don't understand that Jimmy but I do understand. I was in that position. Caretakers. Money. You still get to spend uh, time with them. Spend time with your kids. And kids only become insufferable because they are immensely, immensely bored. Like, what I've seen so far is that if you, are if you are engaging as an individual, if you are exciting and, how do I say this, spontaneous as an individual, kids will often follow. I remember I did shadow boxing and I was playing chess. Some Andrew Tation with around um, my friends and family, and then the friends and family didn't care. They, they were like fucking, bro, they're brain dead. And then the, the, the parents are literally NPC brain dead. And then the kids were like, oh shit, what the fuck? What was he doing? I was playing chess, so smart. Oh my god, oh my god. They, they genuinely enjoyed it and they started to replicate me. See, adults, they lose that fire of life, they get pummeled down by the hammer of reality. And they, and they lose that fire of life. And they get complacent. And they become NPCs. And their kids fail to respect them. If you're an individual worthy of respect, kids will respect you. If that kid knows you can whoop his ass any time, but you're like some old, like some old Shifu Kung Fu Master type character, they will be like, oh shit, I want to be his disciple. They'll draw parallels to movies and fucking that type of shit. But they'll, and they'll draw about movies and uh, entertainment media. But then the surprising part is, in that moment, they forget about the movies and entertainment media and they purely pursue reality. So reality is just purely what you make it. That was the most basic fucking shit I could possibly come out with, but that is completely utterly true. I can never, I have never resonated with that most, with that basic line more than ever. But you know why that line is basic? Because individuals that are NPCs, and then they tell their kids, Oh, oh yo, oh, we can be whatever you want when you grow up, Timmy. And Timmy's like, the fuck, Dad? What the fuck are you talking about? You're 50. You got like three kids. You haven't even paid off your mortgage. You're not even rich. And then and people are like, oh, you're delusional, delusional. Bro, what the fuck did you spend all those years doing? Working 9 to 5. 
all that time. Yeah, I'm gonna kick back, watch a movie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and then his odd random um, friend in school who lived that crazy life. He's a bit younger, 45. But he's fit as fuck. He's the he's the Brian Johnson. He's rich as fuck, fit as fuck. He's got multiple hot girlfriends, etc. Et that kid then looks up to him. And wants to be like him. And then you and then personally he tells, oh you can be whatever you want. And then and the kid's like, I want to be that guy. And then that individual gets insecure. That NPC looks up his kid tells his kid whatever you can be whatever you want. Gets insecure. We're proud of that man. I'm making a huge point, but. I want to make tiny video. I want to live forever. Ow, my fucking stomach. I drank milk in the morning. I'm not lactose intolerant, am I? Hey, GPT. I ate cereal with milk in the morning, and now my stomach is dying, bro. Should I do? Lactose intolerant, that's impossible! Okay, hydrated, yeah, I'll think about that. I need water as well. It's kind of thirsty. Water boys, how long is this video by the way? Just me talking, like, how long? 30 minutes of me talking, bro. This is gonna be a banger to edit. Thanks, me! <sighs> this is why I made our cut channel. Oh, I feel much better, can't I? I'm not lagging with the bro. And <coughs> bless you. Did bless you. Bless me. <laughs> oh, fuck out of your I got a lot of shit to do.